So look what we have here on Monday. <laughs> we talked about Kendall Jenner at Harry's concert. And, you know, I said Kendall and Devin are always a little hot and cold. You never know what's going on. We finish recording. We ha- wrap up and bam, report from people comes out that Devin and Kendall quietly split last month. Very interesting. And you know what? It makes a lot more sense because when I think about it, If I was Devin Booker and I was in a relationship at this very moment with Kendall Jenner and she like took a fucking girls trip to her ex's world famous ex's concert and was singing and dancing and knew all the words to every song, I probably wouldn't be happy. No, but I did see something interesting about Harry Styles following Emily Ratajkowski on Instagram. Oh, I did see that he did follow her. What's the interesting part about that? Just interesting. Oh, oh, it is interesting that he followed. What if Pete Davidson starts dating Kendall? That wouldn't happen. No, 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 no. no. They can't (laughs) start getting to and they can't start say never with that man. I would bet that he's not ever gonna be with anyone other than Kim and that family. Oh yeah, no, he would have dated. And I don't think they would do that either. No, no. But no, that was I did see that as well. But very interesting news. I feel like they break up all the time, and that's probably yeah. it for them. I'm still not sold on the Harry and Kendall. I'd like to be wrong, though. I'd yeah. like for this to come out in a couple of weeks where it's like Harry and Kendall are seeing each other. I'd enjoy that. Yeah. But I just, I'm not seeing it you're, right now. Realistically, you're right on the timing because he is all over the world, and he's going to be all over the world for, like, the next year plus. The idea of the two of them potentially re- rekindling is very attractive to me like i just mm-hmm. i've i'm into that idea i i ship it yeah i think um, as some say i as the kids say i would love to see that reconnection happen i would be fucking pumped if those two got back together i would be excited too couple things while well, this just reminded me of that um i thought it was funny that justin bieber posted for Haley bieber's birthday but it was uh, already it was her in, birthday in, in japan, japan. Yeah. and Haley bieber made it very fucking clear everywhere that it wasn't her birthday yet. Like, who ca- yeah. You know what I mean? Well, I, I think maybe she did it more because maybe friends or, like, acquaintances. I, I would guess people were maybe reaching out and being like, oh, my God. Like, so sorry I missed your birthday. Okay. Like, happy birthday. So she just mass posted on Instagram. Like, it's, it's, it's tomorrow. That makes more sense. I was, th- uh, for it to be like people missed her birthday, I was thinking for more. She was just like, wait till tomorrow. Yeah, no, I... If I had to guess, because if I'm like, if that's me in this situation, first, like, first of all, I know when your birthday is. But if like, Mm -hmm. if Marty had posted the day before, like this whole long, beautiful birthday message, it would make me question like, holy shit, did I miss her birthday? Yeah, that is like, did I did I go until 8 p.m. and not wish her a happy birthday? Like, fuck. So I would have texted you immediately been like, oh, my God, like, I'm so sorry. So I feel like so many people maybe texted her like, oh, my God, we're so sorry. It's your birthday. And her being like, no, no, Justin just posted early. Ha ha. (laughs) Classic. (laughs) Second thing, Justin, (laughs) Julia Fox saying that she dated Kanye to get him away from Kim. Yeah. Honestly, I, I love it. I love it. I, it's such a spin. It's a phenomenal spin. I really, really like Julia Fox. So do I. I appreciate everything she says, and I think that she is like a girl's girl and yeah. all that. And I'm sorry. That's the one thing I'm not buying from her. Yeah. Is oh, oh no, I just dated him to get him away from his ex. I just like, really thought it would help Kim. <laughs> like, that's not why like, you date somebody. Maybe that idea did cross her mind after but maybe like a little bit like she was interested in kanye yeah yeah because remember the whole long thing with each other like she yeah. was she liked him at the time yeah so i think maybe in her head a little bit she was like oh i like him also he'll stop bothering but no yeah, you don't no, date no. somebody so they stop bothering their ex no no that no. was absurd i the love be- that i, I, I love that line doing god's work <laughs> I just love that people I love are, that line. are buying. I thought that was a phenomenal spin. But I just love that people are buying into it. Like, oh no, Julia Fox is such a good person. She wanted to get Kanye away from Kim, so she dated Kanye. No, she dated Kanye because she was interested in Kanye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that was could have been a, a, a not a benefit, but just like a yeah. side thing. That was that a side happened. thing. Like, oh, I'll still like, oh, stop bothering well, Kim. 
maybe that'll help Kim or she thinks about that now. But yeah, yeah, I probably an there, there was definitely she definitely <laughs> didn't go into dating Kanye West being like, oh, I'll go on a few dates with him. This will so help out Kim. <laughs> right. Like Chris as Jenner. if her and Kim are like the best of friends. Yeah. Yeah. What if Chris Jenner facilitated it? Like, hey, Julia, like I'll pay you. Hey, to date now Kanye. that I think that's yeah, a good theory. Look, there, that's an idea. But I think Julia Fox would have said that. And I thought that was so funny. I was like, wow, people are really buying into this. Yeah, definitely. That was got a good chuckle out of that one. Yeah. 